So, Sarah Jane, you studied sports science and health in Dublin City University. What got you interested in that? Um, I suppose as a kid growing up I was always interested in sport. I grew up in the country so whether it was running up a mountain or playing football or whatever you did we were always doing something and interested in health and then through school up until the junior search obviously you do science and I loved that end of it so it kind of seemed obvious when I was filling out my CAO I had an interest in science I was passionate about sport what else to pick but sport science and health. So it seemed like the obvious choice when I was doing it. It's always good when you get to combine two things that you really love. And yeah, love. definitely. It was my definitely. ideal course. <laughs> and what it specifically would that involve, the area itself? The area, my area yeah. itself. Uh, well, I work with jockeys, looking at the health and performance of jockeys. Um, so I, they have to sit in the sauna, they restrict their diet to try and make weight for races. And it's all based on tradition rather than what the science is saying today. So my research would be looking at how these methods they're using to get their weight down, how that's affecting the likes of their balance on their horse, the ba their performance, their reaction time. Because if you think of a big race, the horse they're going may be faster than 60 kilometers an hour and they're all in tight together. So if a horse moves in any way, the guys have to be able to react quickly to prevent an injury or a fall. So I'm looking to see how them making weight, how that's affecting their performance and their reaction time. And then also we're looking at in the long run, we don't know how it's affecting them. So we know at the moment their bones are quite weak, but when they retire, how are their kidneys functioning? How are their bones? So we're looking in the long run, how it's affecting them. Maybe we could bring those ideas back into the younger guys and help them then. And then it's kind of very varied because another part of my research would be looking at the demands of horse racing and how much energy they're expending throughout a day. So we can move on from the sun, move on from them not eating for a whole day, two days before a race and actually come up with precise diet and like I suppose nutritional and training guidelines to help them keep Excellent. their weight down. So, so it's a very practical use of science yeah, for sport. Yeah definitely. And how does Ireland fare internationally in this field? Uh, well, we would be well ahead of the game. We do quite a lot of work with um, the UK and Australia. We work quite closely, um, but research-wise, Ireland would be very well ahead. We've been doing research for over seven years now, and be, the results that they've found out, we present every year at an international conference that all people working with jockeys, um, whether it's the health, safety, welfare of jockeys, come together to discuss what we can do with jockeys in the future to help them. Um, so we would always be presenting the research and linking in there. So internationally, we'd definitely be well ahead. Excellent. Yeah, well, great. that's really great to hear. <laughs> yeah. So, Jenny, you actually specialise in placing graduates from backgrounds and subjects such as biochemistry, microbiology, into actually science and engineering companies yeah. here in Ireland. The roles themselves are similar, like they're like regulatory affairs and quality <laughs> control. What exactly are those roles? And what's involved? And is there a high demand for these skills in Ireland? Yeah, well, there's so many different jobs you can go into in the in the manufacturing of pharmaceuticals or medical devices come from science backgrounds. So regulatory affairs and quality control are just two elements of it. Regulatory affairs would be where you're looking at the regulations around how you make the product, how you market the product, how you package it. Yeah. So if you buy a packet of sulfidine, everything that's on that package, all the, the leaflet inside, that's all governed by the regulatory affairs team in that company. Everything that's that goes into making the product is governed by regulatory affairs. So it's all it's very office based and a lot of legislation that you're working through for it but you need to understand the science behind it as well sure. and then quality control would be one of the biggest groups within a pharmaceutical manufacturing company where they're testing the actual product right from the raw materials that come in the door to make the product to the very last test you have to do before the product goes out you know to be to be consumed um, so, so they're, really they're quite doing a bit of, of science testing. in that Massive very meaty absolutely. yeah real hands-on yeah. science yeah, yeah. Absolutely. and is there a great demand for these skills in Ireland? Huge demand, huge yeah. demand, because you can go into so many different elements and um, so many different careers within it, every, every science graduate has a lot of opportunities. Great, well thanks for that.